Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. Um, my Lord and my God. Today is our Friday. Na tunashirikisha unabii za taifa. Na one, I want to thank God I'm born again. Jesus is Lord and Savior of my life. Bila shaka, I am a servant of God, called of God, ordained of God, mandated by God, and assigned by God for a righteous cause. So Jesus is Lord of my life, and for that one, I appreciate God. Two, I run a righteous cause, and I only serve the Lord Most High. And so he has sent me as a servant to serve his people. Someone, hallelujah. For that reason, I'm not paid by anybody. Neither do I solicit any payment from anybody. And so that should make politicians in Kenya to be, <laughs> to be safe, not to think that I serve at anybody's behest. I don't serve at the king's behest. I serve at the Jehovah Most High's behest. Leo hii ni siku nyingine tena, siku njema. Una bihizi, nazishirikisha, and... Uh, uh, prophet's voice of Shomar comes to us and we are looking at Kenya on a free fall as Ruto charms Raila into miscarriage. Ruto charms Raila into miscarriage while the church enters into deep slumber. So these are two prophecies in one. They are very serious and very important. Someone get me Raila Odinga online. We have agents who know uh, who also eat from this wall. Uh, share a link to them, to his wife, to his son. Share a link also to um, to the state house. I say so because I know that uh, Kenya security apparatus you depend on this channel, and so for that reason, I'm not afraid to do so. I'm not afraid to do so uh, because it is the will of God. Now, uh, it is very sad about um, what is happening today. I remember giving a prophecy about uh, Raila Odinga. I've given warnings. Uh, and I've come to the altar a bit sad. Very sad. That uh, Ruto's charms seems to be swallowing Raila Odinga. Uh, into miscarrying the noble destiny that God ordained for him. And I find that uh, Raila will be very selfish. And I find that he's like giving up uh, the battle. I also find that he's like uh, he has surrendered. And uh, he has settled for, uh, for what benefits him and forgotten what benefits Kenya. Uh, it will be sad because uh, Raila settling for AU position, uh, this is a prophet's warning, will be a confirmation of the prophecy I gave uh, some time back. I think it is uh, uh, almost two years now. And also throughout the last one year, I've been warning that Raila Odinga is one man that is being hunted after. He was the only obstacle that stood uh, between Kenya and fulfillment of destiny. He was the only hope that remained, uh, at least to keep this nation and the government, uh, this regime, uh, on its toes. I remember I gave warnings about uh, uh, Ruto's regime. Should Ruto come into power, he shall swallow judiciary, he shall swallow parliament and he shall swallow the opposition and he shall swallow the church. Ruto isn't uh, for Kenya's good. He was not and he is not to date. He is not on the Lord's side. Those of us who may think this is trouble. I'm telling you, this is not uh, this. Tribe. Forget about tribes. We are talking about Kenya's destiny, a nation of 50 plus million people. Destinies of 50 plus million people. The devil has his eyes over Kenya. I said it. 
And I say, well, how will you know that Satan has the interest in Kenya? Immediately, uh, Ruto was um, sworn in. I gave you a warning that you shall see a flocking in of the white-skinned personalities. And when you see them uh, flocking in, I told you it's because they have seen something. And the agenda of Ruto being in power is actually, uh, uh, there are actually dynamics in the realm of the spirits that uh, favor satanism. They don't favor God's side. And uh, this is what Ruto represents. And there is what uh, Raila Odinga represents. The church went into total slumber. And that is why the church is actually blind to the things that uh, some of us know. Very sad. Very sad. I shared uh, a vision uh, some time back. And if the media cares, they'll show you uh, that clip. Uh, its date as a confirmed prophecy. When I warned that the, uh, I warned about uh, the church um, being swallowed and uh, the effort by Ruto to make sure that anybody that can stand on his way, either you bow in or you are bowed out. Either you bow in or you are bowed out. That has been the mark of Ruto regime. Either you are forced into agreeing to some things, or you be silenced. So the tools that uh, Ruto has employed includes money, influence, and on the side, he has duped the church and the church leaders. And so the church appears like uh, uh, saints, but they are masqueraders. They are real masqueraders. Today's Kenya's church and the clergy are not serving at the behest of the Most High God. They are serving at the behest of the King. So it has been worked out to blindfold. Really blindfold. Really blindfold those who have been uh, able to see and to discern. So it is a play. It is a scheme. It is a conspiracy. It is really, really high-tech conspiracy in the realm of the spirit. And so you find all our archbishops, they are just blind. When witches are hired, the church is blind. When the con men are hired for prayer, the church is blind. When the same clergy are hired, they are also blind. Ruto succeeded. He pocketed the church and the top clutch. They are in his pocket. And today, we see that the state is actually behind. The, church, the, church, the state is oiling. Uh, the state machinery is oiling. Uh, the so-called super crusades. And the so-called super uh, power men of God. That are coming into the republic in the behest of revival. Which revival? Only fools can subscribe to that one. There's no revival. And uh, those archbishops may look big and strong, maybe. But they cannot fool all of us. Those who want to attend those crusades, you attend them at your own. I, as a prophet of God, have not seen God there. Those who believe that I'm a prophet of God, you shall heed to my voice. Those who think that I'm not, you shall follow them. Kenya is being divided into two. Those who are, pro, those who are remnants pro-God and those who are actually uh, maintainers of status quo, allowing Satan to reign. So we see that uh, the state has employed machinery on every side. The only hope Kenya had was Raila Odinga standing as a, uh, as, a, as a general. And he was not standing for his family. Raila was standing not for his family. He was standing for the cause of God. 
and I remember uh, I made efforts to have um, my prophecies and warnings reach him, which reached him. But uh, unfortunately, he is caved in. He is caved in. And I remember the last prophecy I asked Israel, are you getting tired? I say, Jacob, are you getting tired? Are you giving up the battle? Are you surrendering? To whom will Israel leave the nation? Who? Because settling for AU is actually a death knell in Israel's political career. And I warned about that. And I say, should Israel be out of the way? There shall not be another that shall have a voice like Raila. There won't be another. Because his voice has been louder than the church. His voice has been the loudest than the uh, political activists and human rights activists. Then I warned that um, the international community and I warned it some time back that they'll be employed into muzzling Raila Odinga. And uh, I say, church, watch. Maybe it seems like uh, the intercessors who are praying for Raila got tired. And the enemy, like what you say, Jachin Jakinda, Jachin Jakinda Maradil, that Satan really is so persistent. And you have seen the persistence that has been employed by hook and by crook to get Raila Odinga. If they couldn't kill him, they would buy him. If they can't kill him, they would buy him. Today, the world now knows what I said was true. They never managed to kill him. But they have managed to ensnare him. They have managed to ensnare him. What a dark season for Kenya. It's nothing to celebrate. It is nothing worth celebration. It adds to the saddest moments of the Republic of Kenya. It adds to our saddest moment. Now, he was the only obstacle that was standing on the path of Ruto. Kenya, you are set for a free fall. Muta Nguka with the speed. The king will fool the nation the worst. Your king will make merchandise of you the most. And with the super crusaders in the name of uh, the church clergy on the, on the, by his side, you can only expect the worst. Nima chose his son. Nima chose his son. Nima chose his son. Those are moments I wish. Ah, is there another Kenya? The Western, the Western world, the Western world, Western operatives, they have been behind. They have been behind the negotiations, which I said. I told someone, tell Raila's family this thing. And that should be, I mean, let the NSIS check my prophecies. Let Raila's security operators and his advisors check the prophecies I gave. You are only to blame yourselves. Raila's handlers, check the prophecies I gave. I warned. I warned about uh, a carrot being dangled for Raila. And I said, let no Raila settle for the offer that shall come. Let him never settle for the offer. There were two. Either become uh, uh, the uh, opposition uh, uh, chief and be given office and the package that comes with it. Or you be assigned uh, uh, you be assigned portfolio in this republic, I mean in this regime so that you be swallowing the government. 
And the one, the other one I said is the international community will want to coin something for him as an office. Today it has come to pass that that coining of an office is nothing other than AU chairmanship. It is not for good. Kenya will be ashamed. How shall Raila champion eh? uh, champion the welfare of the African continent? When in his own, own home, his own motherland, his own nation, people are poor, oppressed, deprived, cheated, disillusioned, and having a despot in power for a president. Very sad. I don't think Raleigh will be proud. There's no pride. It will bring Raila Odinga more pride. If you stand for your nation and the people who have suffered, who are voiceless, who have got no crusader for their rights, it, have, it will have brought more pride for you, Raila, standing for them than going to be celebrated outside your nation. With the persons who don't know the pain that we have in Kenya and your significance of staying in Kenya. He has been the overseer of Kenya's politics. Kenya mnawachwa na manyangau. Kenya mnawachwa na manyangau. Kenya mnawachwa na manyangau. Kenya you are being left to there. I mean that you are being left to hyenas. Kenya being surrendered. Kenyans are being left at the masses of hyenas. This uh, regime and their operatives are worse than hyenas. They are worse than hyenas. The things we see in the spirit, these elements are worse than hyenas. Their appetite for glory can only match the devils. Their appetite for glory, self-glory, can only match that of the devil. They are worse. They are greed for wealth and for money. It's beyond imagination. So much that church has not been able to stop them. Really, Kenya is in judgment. Kenya eko kwa mashaka. Paka nasema way God. So you've made me a prophet, your voice at a time like this. And I remember how Jeremiah cast the day he was born. And cast the womb that carried him. That was Jeremiah. Now I understand. Now I know. There are things that ordinary fellows don't see. There are things that we prophets of God, the holy prophets of God see and we know. And I tell Kenyans, too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad. Very sad. This regime has been really a mockery for leadership. Real mockery. But did not God say, God told us, did I not want the nation? I warned you. There has, there, has, there has been uh, there has been piling, piling pressure. There has been the piling, piling of pressure on Raila Odinga to abandon. To abandon eh, his championing and crusading for fairness um, uh, uh, fairness in the governance of the nation. Justice as well. And uh, our welfare as a people. Only enemies of people will have wanted to remove Raila from that quest. And you know what? They have succeeded. So Kenyans will be overtaxed. Raila will not talk. Kenyans will be overtaxed. Raila will not talk because he'll been given to be busy somewhere. 
the same same school of thought is what has been used to uh, arrest Oginde and Oginde uh, David was taken. Today Oginde can't talk. And I speak about David Oginde, the bishop of Sitam. Sober minds that uh, will have really uh, relied on <laughs> arrested. Then were made busy with the state portfolios. Ole Sapit was also captured. You will have been a sober mind to talk in such times. Today, even if he speak anything, he, no one will hear him because if he, he is the one who rubber stamped the criminality of Kenya's elections. He celebrated it yet he knew that the cup was dirty. The, the process was dirty. The outcome was equally dirty. He rushed there to give it, the, to give it God's rubber stamp. Okay. So who shall hear Ole Sapit? Only fools. Only fools. He has taken those who have been, uh, those who have been vocal uh, in speaking their minds to help the blind to see. He took them. Please, someone now know that Ruto is an institution. Someone now know that Ruto is not a name. Ruto as the captain is an institution. There is a force behind Ruto. There is a force behind Ruto. That force is bigger, powerful, stronger, mightier. Only God can stop him. Nasikiti kasana. You know, you feel like a prophet has been sounding alarm, alarm. I've been sounding alarm, alarm, alarm. What I feared most for Kenya, do you? And I think Raila has given up because he's been, there's a time I said that Raila will be isolated. He'll be, a, he'll be a general without an army. A general without foot soldiers. Man, and those who surrounded Raila Odinga were all betrayers. And I said that he'll be like a general on his own. And I think he must have suffered cold, loneliness, isolation, fighting a battle that uh, he doesn't have enough support. I think he reached that point whereby he was like, I'm, who am I fighting for? And Satan told him, yeah, there's no one you're fighting for. So whom are you dying for? So it's like, whom am I dying for? Satan told him, Satan told him, there's no one you're dying for. And that is how Raila escaped him. Nambia Kenya kutakuwa kuzuri. Now follow me and hear why it won't be good for Kenya. Uh, Ruto's exit countdown continues. He has 12 months. Excluding March, I mean excluding February, because February is spent. We have March. March to March next year is exactly exactly 12 months. Ruto should be out of office at the end of those 12 months. And so April, as I told you, is the month that should have Ruto out of office. April 2025 according to the calendar that I read to you. Now look at Raila's uh, arithmetics. Look at uh, the arithmetic that uh, I don't think Raila knows. The person that was to take over, the person that is to really uh, replace Ruto at any given time has been Raila Odinga. Because judgment number nine and number 10, are the judgment that will strike Ruto out of office. 
the one that is well placed that was to be compensated recompensated was Raila Amolo Odinga recompensation it is him now while he is waiting for that look at what the enemy has done take the man take him far let him go enjoy something very far so that it's not is not part of what happens in the republic The process of having um, uh, Raila get to the, into the office of the AU chairmanship. The process will begin later. It's not now. So his mind is being shifted from the home affairs, uh, politics and issues into international affairs as to how he'll just so. That means he'll be like um, canvassing, canvassing for his election. Please, there will be no election. Those canvassing actually are to hoodwink the world. The post is already given. Foreign operatives can buy anybody, can buy anything, and can put anybody in power. Just like they did for Kenya. The foreign operatives. What Germany do here? Akunanga haki. Africa thinks that we win elections. Africans, a majority of African elections, are masterminds of the West. And if you get it clean, you won't stay long. They will topple you. There is a superpower. There is another authority behind all those elections. And so that the ones behind orchestrating and uh, maneuvering who becomes, who reigns over Africa, who rules Africans. And so even the post of African uh, Union uh, is just, uh, you know, uh, it's just stage managed. It's just puppet. It's just puppeteering. Because someone else calls the shots, pulls the strings. And the hey, you chairman is just to play. Just play the tune. Someone pipes the piper and the chairman dance to the tune. Then the rest of African presidents will dance to that tune. You thought Africa, we are free. We are still slaves. Thought our presidents are, uh, are real rulers. No. And Rayla has fallen into the trap. He has been snared. I find Ruto, his charms have actually finally bewitched Rayla Odinga. His charms have worked. Just like his charms worked then, <laughs> they have worked again. The other time they worked and the entire judiciary ah, had to give in. Whether server, no server. His charms have worked to keep the nation uh, from lamenting and complaining and, uh, and him uh, reigning and ruling. His charms. So for Ayla, the pregnancy he has had that which he conceived to be a Pan-African champion who champions the rights of the oppressed. That which he conceived to pursue eh, election justice for the nation. Eventually, he has miscarried. He, he was pregnant. Eventually, I'm a mwaga. Sad, very sad. Ruto has actually gotten his last laugh. Ile mimba raila likuwa nayo. Ya kuzalisha haki katika mambo na uchaguzi Kenya. Iyo mimba me, Ruto hamefanya bidi kwa kikisha kwa mameavya. So raila has miscarried. Talk about miscarriage of destiny. That's it. When he was just due, count 
uh, between now and April next year. Amazing up. Compare that one to the battles that he has fought. What is one year? Just 365 days. Those mathematics to prove to you that uh, it is no coincidental. And there are forces that are also employed that when I give a prophecy and I give warnings, there are those ones who go and uh, contend against them in the realm of the spirit. Nikitoa unabi, kuna vile ngambo ingine wanajipanga, alafu kuna isabu zinapigwa. Look at my mathematics and those other mathematics. I told you that uh, Ruto's countdown out of power, 12 months. It was initially 16, now 14, now they are 12. That's what I told you. Now those 12 are exactly the same number. It's the same length of time to have Raila, to have Ruto out of power and to have Raila hmm, assume. But again, it is working that uh, does the same timeline to have Raila enter AU's office to begin becoming chairman of the AU uh, African Union. Don't you see? Those who thought I'm not a prophet, wake up. Kenya Meuzwa. I told you that this man, when he shall come into power, he is a man with a dark heart. I'm a Uza Kenya. Did I not tell you that Kenya will be mortgaged? Kenya is mortgaged. In Shenyu Liuzwa. Does Ruto has anything to lose? No, except his soul. Kenya Muliuzwa, you have been mortgaged. And I told you the effect of Ruto's mistakes. Because the worst mistake is to have Ruto as your captain. It was a mistake. It remains a mistake. And it shall be a mistake. Having him to be the captain over this nation. And those mistakes I told you. He'll mismanage your economy. And the effects of his mismanagement. It will take two decades for Kenya to come out. Two decades. Two decades means 20 years. Ask an economist. I'm not an economist. I tried to study economics. <laughs> and I dropped out in form two. I abandoned economies and settled for something else. But uh, I know something about economics. The, the economists, there's something they are not telling you Kenyans. That Kenya has been mortgaged. And uh, Kenya will come out of the mortgage in the year 2040. 2040. I look at those mathematics and say, oh God. 2040. If you, if you, unless you say, Ata, Mimi, I don't care. Those who want to die, let them die. But sometimes I wonder, God, why do you give a burden to a few people like myself? Maybe I should have been like others, say, I don't also care. Maybe. Maybe you can come in and say, I'm going to go akiiba and pay to kule. Akiiba and pay. Maybe you can come out. But again, I'm just like, oh, yes, I have a fear of God. I want to make heaven. But Kenya. We lack deliverance. The deliverer you had in the name of Raila Odinga has been hooked. And snared, hooked. The church clergy that will have been a, a voice of reason <laughs> have also been ensnared and cooked. 
ensnared and cooked. Raila, ensna Raila was ensnared and hooked. The church clergy ensnared and have gotten themselves cooked. Too bad for a nation like this. Too bad. So sad. I told you that the Kenya's economy will never be fixed. Even those who are telling you, oh, dollar, 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 please. I'm a prophet of God. My word remains. That's what we call volatility. Please, you can bank on a prophet's word. This, what God showed me, Kenya may work, Kenya has been places like uh, gamblers. You have gamblers for leaders. You have gamblers who are gambling with your economy. They are only gambling. They despise the prophet. You know, it is, uh, it is like, let's play a game here. That's why it's so sad to have a businessman, a business entrepreneur for a king. To have business entrepreneurs for prince. To have business entrepreneurs for governance. They just employ brokers. They employ brokers for government operatives. They employ brokers. Who shall broke what? Who shall broke what? If you broke what? If I broke what will I get? So Kenya has brokers. Brokering Kenya for the highest bidder. Hmm. You have persons who have no interest of Kenya in their hearts for economists. They are trying to stabilize the shilling because Onyango said it will depreciate. You can never cure. You can never cure a prophecy. You can never cure the road of God with the wisdom of man. Rachel lacking the anointing for Shamar, he has decided, he has settled for human minds. Human minds that Satan backs up. That Satan backs human minds. Paul tells us there are three kinds of wisdom in the world. One, the wisdom of God. Two, the wisdom of, the, of, uh, of men. Three, the wisdom of the world is the wisdom of the devil. You can choose to subscribe to any of those ones. So, Bible says wisdom calls in the streets. Which wisdom is that? The world wisdom. Who is behind it? Satan. So, Ruto has settled for it to save the Kenya shilling, to save the Kenya's economy, but at a cost. So, look at the look at the foreign. Uh, Look at the foreign uh, operatives. They are trying to stabilize the shilling. Who is paying? They have something to get. It's not for free. They are pumping more. More money into Kenya. Not for free, but it's a debt. What they are pumping now is enslaving Kenya until 2040. 2040. Where will Ruto be in 2040? Someone think. Where will Gashago be in 2040? Where is Governor CBK in Dongon Dongo? Where will he be in 2040? These people are hyenas. They are serving a certain master. Milk Kenyans. Milk Kenyans. Milk them. While the nation is being milked, the destiny of 50 million Kenyans stagnates. When I'm, I'm preaching about destiny, destiny, that destiny of yours, where will you fulfill it? 
Satan has run ahead. <laughs> That's when I kwambia hati mupiganiwa. You fight for destiny on the level of individual in, in the level of you being an individual, personal level. Then there is destiny being fought for in the level of family. Then there is fighting or contention for destiny in the level that is a national a nation's destiny. Because a nation destiny eh, eh, make it room for families, for people. So dreams get locked. Aspirations get locked because the nation also is locked. It's like wanted to fulfill destiny in Egypt and you are a bond, uh, you are a bond slave, an Israelite. Then you want to fulfill destiny in, uh, in Pharaoh's kingdom. That's the scenario we have. It will only take God. Wanafunga hati maza watu. Wamesha nyonga hati maza makanisa. Wamenyonga hati maza watumishi. Wamenyonga hati maza watumishi wa mungu. Zime nyongwa. Sasa imebaki gani? Hakuna. Oh, Ruto. I regret him being a captain. I regret that mistake to have him be a president. It is regrettable. Regrettable. And the man is micromanaging Kenya as a kiosk. Sasa kama ukua naelewa judgment ya Kenya, sasa umelewa. Kenya is in judgment. When I spoke it, there was another prophetess when there was a woman somewhere. Who said Kenya is not in judgment? God is not judged Kenya. We shall enter prosperity. From the look of things, even if you're not schooled, even if, if, even if you never stepped in a class, some prophetesses in Kenya are mad. They are fools. The scenario in Kenya today you don't need rocket science to know that you are in judgment. At inchi ya maziwa na asali. Inchi ya maziwa na asali. Mbaya. It was a mistake. But today, that's the judgment we are reaping from God. That's why come where I see mabaki. If you know a remnant in God. <laughs> I said, Kwamba, there is no reprieve for Kenya soon. There is not. And the equations are now complicated by Raila's exit from Kenya's, Kenya's scene, uh, political scene. Raila's exit from Kenya's political arena spells doom. It is a loss. And Ruto celebrates. In fact, Ruto should organize a celebration party. Please, Ruto, organize a celebration party. You toast. You can toast. Please, you can pump it with a glass. Kanisa Kenya Mulia San. Lieni. Because Raila was better than archbishops. What if combined? Raila was better than all our archbishops that are eating mandazi and biscuits and now they are planning for Benin to come. Raila is better than all of you. Now look at now Benin. He has been, he has also been charmed coming to do what? Coming to also uh, charm more. I wish Benin would have had me. <laughs> I wish Benin would have had me. He's coming into a nation that God is judging. And unless he despises me as a prophet, unless Benin, you despise me as a prophet of God, you, have, you are entering into uh, God's judgment. When God is dealing with a nation, unless he had clear orders for you, go and contend for them. Which God will not God will not have fooled me to have sent me the word, then he sends you for reprieve. He sends you to come with the medicine. Do you carry the healing balm of Gilead for Kenya? 
I, I know Ben in love, uh, mega meetings. You know, any king will love, any, 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 any preacher will love to be hosted by, by, by kings. So while Ben, you thought you are catching, you are caught. You thought you are fishing, you've been fished. You are coming into a nation that suffers God's wrath, suffers God's judgment. The person that are inviting you are the very, very culprits. You are coming to be used. I wish you knew. Wish you knew. I don't watch news. It's out of choice. I felt sad for a nation in Kenya that I can't sit watching news because I don't really, I'm not proud of this nation as at now. And that's why I don't watch Kenya's news. I don't buy a magazine. I don't buy a newspaper. Man, I'm a sad prophet. A nation given to dogs, given to a hyenas. I lost my pride for a nation. And I've been hoping and praying that this nation shall be redeemed in my dispensation as a prophet. That's my hope. And that's what keeps me going because I have wished to be in another nation. But God has not allowed me. So I'm in it because uh, the will of God has, uh, will have me remain in Kenya. But looking at the things Kenya will go through while we are still in judgment for 14 years, then out of that judgment after seven years, it's a sad scenario for a parent, for a pastor, for a father that has fathered many souls. And yet time is going. Ni chungu sana. Chungu sana. And that's why I wonder, a crusade in Atenginezwa, that crusade being organized by uh, those organizing for, uh, for Benny Hinn, who is coming at an uh, invitation of uh, uh, the first lady, Rachel Ruto. Uh, those organizing, don't cheat us that uh, the state is not toiling. Which pastor has money to hire? To Which pastor in Kenya can manage the budget of Benny Hinn? Now let's think. Which pastor, which archbishop or which bishop has the kind of money that it takes to host Benin who travels with a private jet? Who? Only state can do so. And so with all due respect, Harrison Nganga, stop fooling us. That is not at the church. Which church is paying for him? In the first place, all of us know that uh, Resho Ruto is the one who went, uh, went uh, head hunting and scouting for Benihin. Benihin publicly said, you know, I was being sought after by Kenya's president's wife. And they invited me and I'm like, I'm still thinking about going to Kenya. <laughs> Now, here, Arisol Luganga, you enter into muddy, murky waters. And you. you shameful. B embarrassing. To try and uh, cover up that Ruto is not inviting, it's not Ruto's wife inviting Benny Hinn. That it is the body of Christ. Which body of Christ? I am a body of Christ. Which, which one are you talking about? Those are what complicates our equation. If, if Benihin, you are serious and you want it really, if you are really serious, saint of God, you should have given terms. If you are coming to rally all the pastors and all the bishops, eh? Into, rep into, into repentance. Eh? Then the first thing they should have done is that they return Ruto's money. They sell their buildings, sell their cars, sell the buildings that were built by Ruto's money, Harambe's that were done. All that money be collected. Then those pastors will be morally uh, correct to rally repentance. 
But as long as their churches were built by Ruto's money, as long as they are driving vehicles that were purchased by state cash, state money, and as long as they are running TV stations that were sponsored by the state, as long as they are sitting in auditoriums that were built by Ruto's uh, fundraising, as long as they are surviving eh? and their lifeline is Ruto's cash they have no moral authority to rally repentance neither do you Benin have a moral authority to, uh, uh, to rally anything called revival in Kenya it is a smoke screen it is a show no one has told you all those bishops sitting there telling you that uh, they want you to come. Unless you are coming in and uh, maybe it's because, may, maybe, maybe it could be that uh, you also have the same, same uh, DNA. Because uh, bird of the same feathers flock together. But I stand to be singled out as one that say no to your coming. Kenyans, we are being cheated by the fathers of faith. That they want to rally revival. Revival from where? Revival, the robes they wear, the food they eat, the cars they drive, the offices they sit in, the houses they are built, the churches and auditoriums they are built, the gifts they have been gifted as land belongs to the state, which are taxes from poor people. Poor taxes of who are Kenyans. Then the same bishop want to tell you, now we want revival. Revival to bring who? To bring God or to bring the devil? Your guess is as good as mine. Whom are they inviting? Whom, are, whom do they want to invite? Is it God or Satan? After I talk like this, I'll be hearing phone calls. <laughs> That's what they always do. And being sent emissaries. Please, may your emissaries die on the road when they're coming for me. May their legs be cut on the road when they are still coming to me. And may their phones also find me in Muteja. I'm not interested. But I'm very sad. Very sad. Very sad. Very sad that Rahel has been forced into miscarriage. The last, um, the last, um, last prophecy I told you, Kenya harvesting doom. Now you can see Kenya harvesting doom. Kenya harvesting doom. And Nikipindi Kire for Mutavuna. Do I have good news? I still have bad news. <laughs> that plague number eight hasn't finished its, its course. Now Kenya Mujipanga Mujitayarishi. Plague number eight, ahijamaliza mafriko. Mafriko ahijaisha. I warned you in the last prophecy. I've come to give you the last warning. Mafriko inakuja. This is the last one. Mvua ya mafriko. Itachapa Rift Valley. Na Rift Valley nimekewa waze wa, wa laibon kuniweka in size. Na wambi wanafanya bidi. <laughs> wanafanya biso nevita ya mawingu. Utawana inakuja hivi. Then malaibone wanafanya. So mine mewambi ya kefanya ni ingine. Tuwane kama muta zikuwa. Fanya ni ingine. Na kuambia gadabu za mungu ziko. So mvua enye nakuja hii ni ya masika. And uh, Mombasa mojipange. Uh, that is cost. Ukambani mujipange. Uh, so when I talk about Mombasa, remember I warned what to Mombasa. So I talk about uh, cost. Because uh, Tana River, I don't know, Tana River is a county or is it a, uh, whatever, a county. Yeah? Just like Mombasa is a county. Uh, so, onani vile kutafanyika. I say cost. Then, uh, Ukambani, Ukambani is Eastern, eh? 
and tells Machakos and Makweni and Kitui, watch. Then he washed northeastern, the last leg, by Naguza and Paka Turukana Rift Valley. Rift Valley, Munanda Kupata Maj, Kumataka Maj, Maj Munataka Maj, Nasam Nafuguliwa Maj, Mutai Pokea Maj, Inaitua Mafuriko, Waters for Rift Valley. So Rift Valley, Kumandika Malay Bones, on, uh, they are really on my way because Onyango is in Rift Valley. Now, I'm going to go to the house. Now, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Because it's like you are clashed with the one that God has sent. You are employed. When Onyango prophesies, you people, you overturn. And that's what they have been employed to do. And that is why there's a big screen when I speak being viewed at State House. Listen, I will advise. I've just mentioned part of the nations. Nairobi and what is escaping. Nairobi mutakula maj. Mutakula maj. Please, in answer, mwezi hupa. Inaingia mpaka, yani mpaka maj. Alafu baada mvua, after that one, Ita katika pwa. Jua itawaka na temperature. Enyo nikame metumwa. Ita shuka chini. You start the last leg of plague number eight. Nito a drought. 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 Real drought. There will be rationing of water. Rationing of power. For a long time. So that plague will eat the nation. Paka mutagiza mahindi, mutagiza mchele, mutagiza mboga, mutagiza vitu. I've warned you enough about the coming plague. I've warned you enough. So you'll see it. Those are not judgments that can be overturned. They aren't. So I can't waste my time praying for their overturning. They are actually there born of God. They are there. So after that, then judgment number nine, that is plague number nine, uh, will set in, which of course is setting in uh, next year, this judge, plague number nine and plague number ten. There are the two plagues that will be the last stroke on Ruto's backbone to go home. As the Lord has ordained it, so shall it be. However, now, now that they know, there is a, compli there is a complication in the realm of the spirit. Uh, now that Rayla is being stolen the other side. Maybe unless he changes his mind. If Rayla changes his mind, that would be better. But the judgment of God will not stop because Raila is out of the equation. The equation, uh, God's judgment continues anyway with or without Raila Odinga. Sad, very sad. I have a verse for, for you. That is Psalms chapter number 12. And uh, verse number 8. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. And that's where we are entering now because Raila was an obstacle and removing him from the way will be will give space, will give room to these corrupt elements to do all they wanted to do without being uh, strained at all. They'll do what they want to do without straining at all. Zaburi kuminambili, mustari wake ni nane, ya sema hivi. Wasiyo haki utembea pande zote 
na ufisadi eh, ukitukuka kati ya wanadamu ufisadi ukitukuka kati ya wanadamu so watu wa ovu andika sema kwamba eh, watakuwa na uhuru wa kutembea kila mahali ama pande zote wakati uh, watu wa ovu wamewekwa madarakani so wa ovu wanainuliwa so katika hali hizo Raila Odinga kufanyishiwa kupatiwa kwa madaraka hiyo si madaraka ni mtego basi nje Kenya wale wa ovu watazidisha uovu wao tena sana now they will steal and you know what foreign nations squeeze the foreign nations It's not like the days of Moi that you'll hear America and the ambassador uh, vocal in criticizing. Today they are nowhere. You'll hear European Union vocal in condemning. Today they don't. They don't. So you have a king who strides, strides uh, and He strides across he strides horizontally and his pride is in borrowing his pride is in selling the nation his pride is in mortgaging the nation and the people so they cannot criticize him because they have something to get from him just like Mobutu Sese Seko eh, enslaved the entire Zaire. He did it and the Americans were there until only death removed him. The same is what Kenya is poised to have. The Americans, the whites, the European Union and all that, they are watching and they are actually dancing to it. In the meantime, they are milking the nation. Only God will save us. And that is someone celebrate the plagues. Let's see what the plagues will do for us as a people. Let God remember the remnants. May the Lord remember the remnants. May the Lord remember we, the remnants. In the midst of all this, Wajaman, Machos Yakoba Mungwa Kukumuke too, Mana, please. Hakuna kizuri cha kufurahisha cha kufurahisha hapa Kenya kwa sai. So those of us who must be in the nation let's be let's keep preaching. Let's keep sounding it. But even when we sound not everybody will change. Kuna wale ambao our sounding is actually uh, uh, falling to deaf ears. But the Lord shall remember us. Dear Father, this is very sad and uh, I just want to surrender to you. I repent law for at times um, feeling like I need to run away. But again, Father, I thank you because you purpose that I be around. I pray the Lord shall shamar myself and all those people that Lord you've ordained to receive grace by me as your servant, O Jesus. I pray that thou, my Lord Jehovah, shall uh, have what you have ordained for Kenya come to pass. So the judgment that Lord is actually biting. May this judgment, my Father, go continue. But remember the remnants. Thank you, Lord, for today. Pray that this, um, this, um, this warning and confirmations of these prophecies will endear many to repent and come back to you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen.